Okay, here we go. It's a new week, so we have some new races in the lead. And we're going to go for some S-Class racing here with the Ghost Lobby. And, of course, the Dodge Viper, as you can see. Going into the first corner here. So I'm going to lock up, and hopefully I can get in hook nicely for the second Apex. There we go. So, yeah, this is the S-Class hopper for the leagues, the new one this week. So I thought I'd give this a go. S-Class is one of my favourite classes, and the Dodge Viper is one of the classic cars for this class. I will leave a link in the description, or um, a note in the description, of how you can get the tune for this car. It's a really good tune, actually. And we're going to go for five laps here around the Prague short circuit. And you can see here, look at this, I'm going to go flying past the KTM crossbows. Getting very brave through the chicane, you can gain so much time on this track by getting brave through the chicane. Now a bit of further information here, I'm driving in the Pinnacle League. So this is the highest level in the league's uh, section. So some of the drivers here are really, really good. And it's going to be, it's always going to be hard to try and beat all these people. See here, the F50 comes back ahead of me through the first and second corners, going into the long left-hander here. Get hooked up nicely on the first bit. Go out wide, then cut back for your second apex. Get on the power nice and early when you can, and push out wide to the wall for maximum speed onto this straight. Now this is the tricky part. You really have to turn in just before the archway. Get yourself hooked up with the wall on the left and on the right. You don't want to touch that wall then take all the curb as much as you can, running the walls as close as possible for maximum uh, straight lining and therefore speed. Look at that guy, he's smashed into the wall. So sometimes if you can get your lines right, the other guys feel a bit of pressure and feel they have to start trying really hard to uh, keep up with you. Now one idea that I've had in the last couple of days is starting a Google Doc. So for those of you who don't know what it is, it's basically like an Excel spreadsheet, but anyone can access it. So what I'm going to do is draw up a sheet for all of the car classes and all of the tracks. So I'm going to write down all of the quick cars that I like to use in each car, um, in each uh, class, and on each track. So this Dodge Viper will um, feature on that uh, table, I would have thought, uh, especially for this track. So I'm going to go through on that uh, table all of the best cars that I like to use or that I, I see other people using and I'll go through the tune that you can uh, download the or sorry the person that you can download the tune from so what I'm going to do is what you'll see on this uh, table is or this document is all of the classes all of the tracks and then the tunes and the cars that I recommend that you can use on each track so it'll be a quick reference that you can use to um, choose yourself a quick car for, it, for each track because it's not always the case that you can use one car for, for all the tracks you're going to have to have a variety of cars especially when tracks such as Daytona um, yeah, the, any of the oval tracks, especially Daytona you have like, the infield section but then you have the long outfield oval where you're going to need a lot of top speed and I saw some ridiculous cars on there yesterday which had you know, 9 or 10 for speed they weren't very quick around the uh, infield, but then as soon as you get onto the outfield, they were absolutely flying. So I'm going to go through a document for that, and then I'll share that probably by the time of the next video. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link out for that, that so you can uh, use that as a reference for the cars that you want. So we're going to go into lap five here, and we've kept our cool despite pressure from this virus V93, who's been keeping quite close tabs in second place only about 200 feet uh, 200 feet away which is you know I can only make one mistake really and he's back in the game uh, so coming through the long left hand for the final time getting hooked up nicely on the second apex getting on the power nice and early this Dodge Viper really does handle very nicely has a lot of stability a lot of grip and a lot of acceleration which is exactly what you want for this kind of track I'm going to run the walls very close I've been very consistent through this section and that's been this, uh, the key to success for this race, I think. And you can see there, the guy in second has fallen many hundred feet away now. So he most likely crashed trying to try too hard to catch up with me. So we're going to cross the line here for our first victory in the new S-Class League. And I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. 
remember to comment down below let me know what you think of this video let me know what you want to see for the next one and let me know what cars you use for the s class uh, hopper because i am fairly new to it i haven't got many cars for it only the dodge viper the selena 7 at the moment so let me know what cars you want to use or what cars you use and then maybe i can uh, try them out so that's going to be the end of this video guys hope you've uh, enjoyed it remember to subscribe if you want to see more of the same and hit the like button if you like this one and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching goodbye